piece of card from that pack and I think I'll go with this side and I'm just going to roughly eyeball this to see what size of a band that I want and I would say that's about an inch and a half and then mark it at the bottom here so that it's the same size as your page. I'm going to quickly cut this. Um, she says if I can find my pencil marks here and yeah. Okay. So now I have my little belly band. And all I'm going to do is put some glue at the top. And glue at the bottom, bring my envelope flip book back in and I'm just popping it roughly about mm, an inch in from the side and I don't know how I've done that but that is too long. So all I'm going to do is pick that up and cut it along the bottom. like so. How I got that wrong I don't know. That's without measuring. You know what I'm like. So I'll just add on some more glue and that is the little belly band. So that just sticks there. And I know these papers are absolutely shouting at each other but these are the ones that came in the pad and to be honest I quite think it's quite funky. It's quite psychedelic. And then my other little envelope I'm going to pop underneath my be careful because it's still wet underneath my belly band so there we have the bare bones of the book and then you can put something in here a nice picture you can do anything you want your stamp in you could put another belly band in here and have more goodies inside um and it's totally up to you you could even have another envelope in here if you wanted to so like you see this one goes there this one goes here this one goes here this one goes here that one no, 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 that one, that one, that one, oops, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, okay, and that is your finished envelope, which I think is absolutely super cool. Quickly, if I have time, if I get cut off, guys, I apologise, I don't know how much recording time I have these days, but I've got somewhere. What did I do with it? I'll be underneath this big pad of paper. There it is. I have this hook and loop velcro. So what I'm going to do is cut off. Now some of you might have the wee velcro dots, the wee circles, which are perfect. I've got this one just now and I'm just going to cut off some bits and squares. So one how many do I need? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four. Now I'm not going to sit and watch like make you watch me put all these on. I'm just going to do one and I'll show you. So close this all up again and the reason I like putting the velcro on is because it encourages the card to stay in place and it just makes sure that it all stays neat and that when you do put your embellishments on nothing will get lost so on this one let's see what side of the velcro we've got I like to put the rough side the loop side on the bottom I'm just taking off the sticky and this is really sticky so I'm going to stick this on the top of my envelope there, push it down, give it a good stick and then pull it up and there we have that. And then I would just continue to go on and do that on all of my envelopes, on every envelope that's inside. Um, I will do it to all of them just to make sure, I don't know, I just think it, it adds something to it, it makes it nice. I'll quickly put this one on here. Like I said, if you've got the wee round ones, 
they look nice I think these be squares if you cut them into neat these squares it looks nice as well pop that down pop that there open it up squeeze it down and there we go so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and um, like I said if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to ask this is the one that I made earlier pop that in there obviously this is just a guide you can put all your own spin on it but yeah these are the two that I have made so please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this tutorial guys um, and subscribe if you would like to join my channel and yeah I'll see you all again soon thanks everybody bye bye